Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to the Daily Tune-Up today. Are you an arguer? I mean, do you like to argue? Do you find yourself contrary to most things people say? Or there's this requirement inside you every time somebody says something or makes a statement or a fact that you have to correct it or you have to change it or you have to have the last word? You know what that is? That's a system that says you have low self-esteem, that you don't feel secure about your own capabilities. When we find ourselves arguing with someone else, we have to ask ourselves, what difference does it make anyway? What if somebody does say something that's a little bit inaccurate, or it doesn't really agree with our view? Keep in mind, each one of us have a different point of view. Each one of us have a model of the world that's quite different from everyone else. When we have to change someone else's model of the world, or get it to conform to the way we think, we have a problem. What it's time to do is to really take a look at ourselves and understand that the reason we do those things is because there's an internal thing inside of us that says they have to be correct so we can understand it. Or they have to be correct so we feel okay. What I want you to do, if you're one of these people that continually argue, contradict, or interrupt, or correct people, what you want to do is really ask yourself how important is that anyway? What it's really doing is driving your relationships away. What it's really doing is making you look like you're someone people don't want to be around. You're a buzzkill. So I want you to pay attention to your own language patterns and understand that each one of us have our own model of the world that's quite different from everyone else. I mean, I have a whole different view than you do. And you have a different view than the next person and the next person. It's impossible to hear something come out of someone's mouth and have it absolutely perfect or correct based upon your complex equivalency or your model of the world. So let's work on that. Let's get along and let's understand if someone says something, it's not really necessary for us to correct it. Ask yourself, is it really that important? Now, if someone's making a fatal error, and they have to be corrected in order to save someone's life or to save a pending disaster, of course, that's the time to stand up and say what you think might be a better point of view. Until tomorrow, this is Dr. Gary wishing you an extraordinary day. And remember, when someone says something and you feel that nudge to correct it, think about it before you do. It's probably not that necessary after all. And most times our relationships are much more important than us standing corrected or them standing corrected. Bye-bye.